Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition to Steam Early Access. In the last episode, we managed to get to a village uh, to be able to find out where this mysterious place was where we needed to find, and we were tasked with killing Snarfrasm, which thankfully we did quite easily, a lot easier than we have done in the first expedition, excuse me, game. Uh, but here we are, we've been transported to yet another location, and not only are we tasked with finding the mysterious, the all-knowing, the all-seeing, the all-talking Palakau slab, we're against another famous explorer. Percy Fawcett has set sail and is supposedly ahead of us and looking for the same fabled slab. This means we only have 90 days in order to be able to find said slab and claim the riches and fame that comes with it. After that, we just claim the, the average person's riches and fame after finding something which someone has already found. Something along those lines. Bit of a mouthful. Let's crack on, shall we? We're going to start off by having a quick look at the map. Now, because we've been given access to this island, we've been given lots and lots of question marks. Now, I've played this mission a few times in the past, and um, I must admit that uh, never have any of these question marks actually been the Palakau slab. It, this just gives you an idea on what there is around the island. So it's always worth still looking around. You do have to be very tactile with how you play this, simply because uh, from a sanity perspective, we don't have a lot of... Uh, foodstuffs to regain sanity right now we only have three chocolate so we're relying on finding natural wonders and places we can kip down like uh, villages or uh, traders where we can trade items for more food in enable to up our sanity big sentences very hard to talk but other than that it's a case of just being as economical with our time that we have and trying to cover as much area as we can uh let's just crack on see how we do i've never actually done it in the 90 days so um we'll see what happens uh let's uh, start by going up onto this hill here and seeing the lay of the land oh it's fairly open which is good for us uh let's 10 days 11 days 12 13 so you really got to watch how many days are taking to to go and explore things so we've just wasted essentially 10 days finding that which is of no use to us whatsoever the only good thing is we we, we can talk to the natives before we really piss them off when the natives here first caught sight of us they seemed terribly shaken after a moment they began to bow to us one after the other so we can proclaim ourselves as a god haven't got much chance of that though or we can ignore them so we ignore them embarrassed by their attention i tried to downplay the awe and behave as normally as possible. They seem surprised by my mundane reaction. Initial impressions fell aside as we learned to communicate better. I tried to decide on my next action before moving on. Uh, so we can't ask about their village. That's interesting. And we have a minus three reputation. That makes me think that the reputation is linked to the last island we've been on. So let's give a gift. What can we give them? What would you like? They're fairly angry in the picture. Uh, let's give them a couple of mushrooms. If we have a horn flute, are you going to give me plus one? No? Or if I gave you a tooth? Or if I gave you three horns? Is that a plus two? No. Rude. That'll do. We've got plenty of other things we can trade, so that'll do. Anticipating further contact with these people, I offered a gift. They accepted it gladly, surprised and warmth showing on their faces. Oh, so we've got plus two standing plus... Ah, excellent. So we're, we're, we're in good steed with the natives, at least for now. Our business done, the natives wished the spirits to treat me kindly as I continued on my journey once more. Cool. So not a complete waste of time. Uh, 17, 16... 17, 16, let's go to there because we can cut out the bottom then for our sanity. Oh, shrine. Well, let's hit it up, I suppose. A 
The temple before us wanted both fear and respect. I could hear the roar of turbulent or turbulent water as if a great river lay buried beneath my feet. Where my party gone? I've never walked up. Inside was a small empty chamber, a long hallway leading to a main altar. My eyes flitted, flitted to and fro, searching for traps. Uh, I'm feeling fairly confident with this. Let's do it. Oh, booger. All right. Someone's injured. Moments after I began my search, I felt a flagstone sink beneath my foot with an ominous clunk. I had triggered a trap. A small pedestal rose from the floor with a strange rune-matching puzzle atop. An ominous tickling noise hinted that I had little time to act. <laughs> I'm not holding out much hope for this. Let's do it. One. Oh dear. Failure! Shaking from the pressure, I made a false move. Instantly, the board turned black and a roaring sound filled my ears as flames filled the room from hidden nozzles. Oh no. I considered the main chamber once more. I stood before an altar carving with pictographs of waves and drowning men. The sound of water rushing in my ears. Um, 25 fame, 15 fame. For the sake of being chased around by water and losing uh, access to ways of being able to get across this island quickly and the fact we're taking quite a bit of famey stuff back anyway I'm going to leave it alone I know I, I, long time viewers of mine will be like I've never seen him do that but there you go new times I decided that we should leave the shrine before we caused him repairable harm and quickly departed I'm also bleeding which is not good am I am I like super damaged off that 5% of being infected I can dig it. That's fine. Uh, right. So, not in a good position right now. That's all. Uh, we don't have a lot of um, sanity left. I might have to use my random teleportation scroll in a second. Let's see what we get. Somewhere we can relax would be nice. Uh, we don't get it. 17. That'll take us to day 27. Let's go that far. It looks like a lot of this is all cut off. Oh, we found it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Very excited. Very excited. Um, well, kind of excited because although we're first, we're like stupidly first. <laughs> so uh, um, we're, we're kind of missing the entire rest of the map. Um, I haven't really found anything. I mean, I'm, I'm half inclined to go back and grab that shrine stuff now. Um, I don't really want to use the random teleportation in case we get thrown stupidly north. Uh, I mean, how much is it to get there? 23. Can we see from here what what that is? If we use a costume flare. No. But it only cost us 17. So if we ate all the chocolate, can we get to there? I'm risking this, aren't I? I'll tell you what, let's go to the trader. Let's go to the trader. He might have some sort of sanity-esque way of us building it back up, etc, etc. It had only been 30 days since I landed on this island. Uh, though still 90 days remained, to find this out, well, it was 120 days you get. I began to worry about the time was packing, passing quicker than expected. That's fine. I dig it. Uh, we could take down the elephant. So let's approach the trader first. To my surprise, I encountered a colourfully dressed travelling merchant. He was bowed beneath a heavy pack, but cheerfully greeted me with a wave. Hello! Uh, trade, we proudly presented us with a selection of his wares. They seem to be the remains of previous less successful expeditions. Uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Um, I mean, at this point...
50, 25. I, I suppose it's a case of um, we, we can keep that now. I'm not going to use that. So you can go, you can go. You're worth sanity. You can go. I'm going to keep the cost and flair. So can I buy both? I'd, I'd ideally like to buy both of you. Don't think I'm going to get it though. Earplugs. I mean, 50. It's a hell of a lot. So I gave you two of those. Four of those. I think that's probably for the best. Our business concluded. I ventured into the wilderness once more. Right, so <clears throat> let's quickly put these on us. Oh, yeah, we're definitely in the forest. Right, so um, who's wearing what? You've got your guns. You haven't got anything yet. So let's give you the gun and the sensor. Oh, Lordy. I thought that was a body. Never mind. It's always mailing can have the sensor. I, I pres No, she can't. Oh, my bad. Uh... Oh, well. It's worth something. It's worth 50. We'll be able to trade it for something else at some point. That'll do. I mean, at this point, I'm thinking I'll just take down the uh, the elephant and take the tusk. I've got a good chance. I'm feeling confident with my die. I've got plenty of die to play with. We've got some uh, first aid kits. We've got an adrenaline shot, worst case scenario, dynamite, fire. And then we go straight back to the palico. Uh, sorry, palicow slab. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Two! Didn't see that. Didn't see that. My bad. Um, hmm. All right. Okay. Well, we've done it now, haven't we? Roll. <laughs> All right, let's uh, uh, let's throw. Let's throw you up. Or what are you by yourself? Damage of four. Let's see for that. Oh, we get some damage in. You know what? I'm going to hold back from that. Uh, you can kick better. I think we need to throw you in. The health, this is ridiculous. Um, so that's 24. So we need to boost you. With you. If I can take down the one... We should be all right. Um, we've got both blades for six. They don't stack. Um, so we, we want you to be re-rolled. Ideally, we're going to re-roll you as well. Uh, are you the best? You're the best. So let's throw you in. Nothing stacks with that, which isn't ideal. Please stun it. We didn't get the stun. Okay. So let's re-roll. Uh, we're going to re-roll you and you as well. We've got dynamite as well, worst case scenario. Targets all enemies. I might throw you in now. Damage of 12. So you, it's the blue die which help with that. Let's do that. Sit down. Right, so we should be able to finish this one off now. So that's 12, which is 11. Plus that is 18. Plus 5. Yeah, we're going to have to concentrate on the one, I think. So let's um, <clears throat> let's throw in the haymaker. 
Uh, let's throw in it's 12, 8, and 6. Ah, annoying. And that's plus 5. I'll throw in the 1. Let's throw in one more dynamite. So that's the 1 down. Uh, we're going to hold on to you and do our last re roll. Come on! Booger! That's not good. That's not good. I was hoping to get the better taunt. That didn't pay off. So, we're not in a bad position. Ow. You hurt Donkey! You really hurt Donkey. Right. So, again, I'll go for a re-roll, I think, on that. So fisticuffs stacked with the donkey. It's 24. Down to 26. We might as well just use the rest. We might, I think we might be close actually. Give him a slash. Down to five. And we can finish off with a dynamite. Can't take it with us. Boom. Oh, I was worried then. That was my fault. It's a, it's a thing I tend to do in this game. I don't tend to see the quantity of enemies you're going up against. I tend to just blindly run in there. Which tends to be detrimental to the cause. Uh, so we can't do anything with the meat. That is a bad thing. Uh, we can't get to the natives. I think that's it. That, we are done. I mean, we can get to whatever that is, but... Without knowing what it is, we're going to incur some sort of negative trait, I feel. I mean, do I do it? 18, 25? We've got to get halfway back, worst case scenario. We've still got stuff to trade. I'm going to do it. It's the rue of me, this will be. Oh, it wasn't even worth it. Wasn't even worth it. Okay, so 100% to go mad. Let's do it. At zero sanity, catastrophic events can occur. Recover sanity with items such as chocolate or whiskey. We have neither. I trudged forward, doing my best to set an example for the trek. But I was weary, so very weary. I needed to take some action to improve the party's morale. Oh, we got off lightly. Nice. Or did we? I awoke in the night to find Wu Min missing. I began to search frantically for clues, and it wasn't long before I found a note that she had left behind. I hate this place. Farewell, my friend. You have done your best, but the time has come for me to strike out on my own. Live well and good luck to you. What? This was tantamount to suicide. Surely no one could survive alone in these wilds. As I tried to sleep that night, the words echoed in my head. Could I somehow have stopped this rash action? Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, she left the bits behind. That's fine. She left the, she left the sword. She left the photo. I can live with it. That's fine. I can live with it. We can pass them on to someone else. Someone who's a lot more grateful for them. Let's face it, she's only caused hassle all the way through anyway. Falling out with Captain Newton and Catley. Uh, or Catley. I would have had to have chosen at some point who I wanted to keep and who I wanted to get rid of. So I'm fine with that. I am absolutely fine with that. Um, however, let's approach the trader. Do you have anything I can take back with me? I mean, I've got lots of meat. A lot, a lot of meat. It's not worth a lot. I've got a lot of meat. You can have the meat, you can have the scroll, uh, the dynamite. And I will in turn take the earplugs. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm going to keep you. I think that's all I want. Deal. So. Let's move these around. Um, you can now have the picture. Uh, we're not going to equip Mei Ling because we're not keeping hold of her. So that will do. 
yeah that's good that's good uh so off to the palakau slab boom curse these plants approach the palakau slab Though we'd been beset by dangers at every turn, we'd finally reached the Palakau slab. It loomed before us, carved with figures and sigils, unlike any I had seen before. Malin approached as if though entranced, her face alight with awe. She traced the carvings with her fingers lost in thought. We made camp, Malin staying up into the night to study the slab by firelight. When morning dawned, she declared her intention to stay. I was to return to Paris to fetch reinforcements i tried to argue but mailing is nothing if not stubborn eventually i packed my things and bid her a fond farewell she waved back distractedly already turning again to study the slab boom did it more importantly we beat percy Fawcett, so we've got that extra bonus of the expo tickets which is awesome that's really going to help as far as us being able to afford better items and upgrades for everybody and look at all the lovely bits we brought back What's that, halfway through rank four? With a new unlock? Interesting. Although we will probably have to end up buying someone else as well. Um, honestly, not too fussed by the uh, the scroll person. Uh, we'll see who, we're in, uh, who we get in the bar before we make that big decision. Uh, but hey-ho, there we go. Uh, we can get tracking, reveals nearby prey animals and enemies, of plus eight. We have amphibious, so we take minus two extra steps for sanity through water and swamps or well, we have hill climber um, at this point i think the best thing we can do is help ourselves in general as much as we can when it comes to saving sanity so amphibious it is and there we are back 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 we're in a new year the eiffel tower is built up a little bit more and we are invigorated ready for a new expedition i return to paris and the grounds of the exposition universelle it was good to be back. Victoria Mailing congratulated me on a job well done, giving me a firm farewell handshake. She hoped he would have, or we would have the opportunity to work together again in the future. So we have lost her. But that's all right. That's all right. We've got things to look at. Uh, let's start by going to the Taishi Academy and seeing what that new unlock is. It is firecrackers. A string of small explosives makes quite a racket when lit usable on the map okay but what does that actually mean oh i won't know until i can buy them that'll be on the supply ship i suppose um trained character not too fussed by that let's go to the bar i return to la lodge la la lodge on there i hate that word on there once more making myself comfortable uh, right, so let's see who's available. Ooh, I gave word that I was looking for hardy men and women to join my expedition. Soon I had gathered a small set of brave adventurers to choose between. Uh, we have Ramalda Lloyd, the field nurse, who is level two. We have Pergrui the Shamayan, the translator. Hmm. Could you translate me your surname so I could say it a bit easier? And then we have Bernard Hargier, the cook, who is superstitious. However, 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 the one thing I've learned from playing this off camera is the cook is invaluable, especially when you come across lots of wild animals, taking them down and whatnot, to be able to regain sanity a lot easier. So with that being said, I welcome the cook, even with your little foible. Morale would be greatly improved of a skilled cook such as Bernard RGA in our crew um let's just leave for a second we do have 14 tickets which is quite quite a lot um we shall now come to here so we have a spear and a leafy sprig we have a level one pistol and a rabbit's foot uh, we have a level one a worse level one pistol and a sentimental photo and we have tenderized meat and spot vitals which are vulnerabilities uh not the best so we're going to give you 
the swords um, and also the earplugs uh, so really as far as weaknesses in the uh, the team is concerned especially when it comes to uh, equipment it's really that pistol we need to be looking at that's not a good pistol at all so let's go see what equipment is available first and then uh, take it from there so equipment dealer so we have a level two pistol now which is uh, three expo tickets we've got a hunting rifle uh, let's see what those are. Damage of 12. Wow, that's good. Okay. Uh, we also have a machete, which I like. Uh, a heavy crate. Uh, he large crates that can be strapped to your animal. Allows your party to carry significantly more goods and makes movement more arduous. Uh, okay. And uh, we've got the foot. We've got the crucifix. Um, I think. I think, I think, I think. Uh, maximum sanity is good. Uh, what would I swap out, though? What would I swap out? I mean, the sprig is good for... Uh, well, aggro chance, is it really that good? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, the rabbit's foot is good. We're keeping that. The 10% um, base cost is good. And we've got the earplugs... Which is worth a little bit more sanity. Not the best. No animal. So I could get rid of the sprig. The one gun. I mean the spear. Pointy spear. It's only four. So maybe two weapons. Two. Definitely one weapon. Definitely one weapon. So the hunting rifle is good. So that's six. That takes us down to eight. And the machete generally is pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's slightly better than the spear. So I'll take you as well. And I do like the crucifix. I do like the crucifix. I'm going to take you as well. I'm going to put almost all my extra tickets into gear this time around. We can look at upgrading it at a later point. We just need better stuff in general. Uh, so let's leave this. Um, we'll go to our party. So we're going to swap out the uh, machete with the spear. And the crucifix. We're going to leave the crucifix. Um, so we're going to swap out the better gun with the hunting rifle because he hits harder. We're then going to give Derek Eo the better gun to have. So, du, 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 du. so the earplugs, I think, is probably the worst thing to have overall. Because there's not a lot of extra sanity. So we'll swap you out for the crucifix. So our sanity has gone up a little, our, ba our base sanity. So these, really, we can sell. Nope. No, we can't. I'm forgetting one important thing. Nope. No, I'm not. We've got full, we've got full people, haven't we? One, two, three, five. Yeah, no. So we can sell those. So those are to be able to be traded in the next expedition. Uh, now, um, when I first got to this point in the game, this is when the Map the Islands challenge opened up. So this is where, if I was to carry on with my... Uh, uh, of a playthrough the Lux Labs one would be the one I go for and this is where you'll be able to choose who you want to play for uh, but that's entirely up to you for now though I'm going to leave it here thank you for watching as always a like is appreciated and I'll catch you on the next one take it easy